sharpened volcano fragment. Second worst pyro melee, coolest looking bad weapon. And Val's class based classic Team Fortress 2. Many regard it as a weapon no sane person would use outside of medieval mode. I'm here to change that notion, because honestly, it's bubkiss. But before we get to that, we have to understand why the volcano fragment is considered bad. It's for good reason, I'll be fair. It's the flamethrowers. They're the best melee weapon anyone could ask for, allowing for infinitely more reliable close-range damage and a good chance of bringing the other guy down with you if you fuck up. Pyro has no reason to ever use a combat-focused melee when his primary essentially doubles as a melee unless it's the fucking extinguisher, and that's obviously an exception to the rule. <laughs> but what then, you may ask, is the path to glory for the Volcano Fragment? It's the Dragon's Fury. It isn't easy damage at butt-sniffing range like the flamethrowers. Additionally, with its boosted damage on burning players and unwieldy close-range bursts, the Dragon's Fury is covered in many areas by the Volcano Fragment, allowing longer afterburn for easier top damage and solid melee damage. On top of this, the Volcano Fragment, when used as an opener, allows you to two-shot enemies with up to 175 health. 150 health if you don't want to rely on afterburn too much, although that still really won't work on a pyro. And it shaves off attacks otherwise needed to kill heavies and other high health targets like overhealed uh, soldiers and islander demos, or even Zatuichi demos. That is, of course, if you're not using the Scorch Shot. Fucking Scorch Shot always ruining cool pyro things because it's the Scorch Shot, it's just better at the things. Why does Scorch Shot have to be so good? Like, why would I use a cool, underrated, interesting combo with a weapon nobody likes instead of just stunlocking my opponent and melting their face and eyeballs out of their skull before they can even hit the ground? It's so boring. God, fucking scorch shot. <sighs> Anyways, if you're willing to unglue your scorch shot from your secondary slot for once, you can find great use in this weapon's flaming capabilities. The best secondary to pair with this duo are the detonator or thermal thruster, for obvious reasons. The playstyle goes a bit like this. Using your secondary, you close the distance. Uh, if you're using the detonator, you can set people up who you're about to close the uh, close in on, so you're they're already on fire by the time you get there. You know, to position around the enemy, uh, your primary for raw mid-range power just pumping fireballs into their flesh puppets and melee as a setup for uh, your dragon's fury and as a almost demo man play style esque backup damage like a boring demo man with the bottle or a cool demo man with the pan this play style is fun and if someone good at it got at it they could kick some teeth in with some Sick plays. I can't even imagine. Skechek, if you're watching, get on this. This is good content. Finally, um, I'll close out by saying, I suck at this game. I just reached level 100 on casual a week or so ago, and that's the only reason I feel at all confident talking about weapon viability seriously like this. Now I'm going to show the clips of me not being absolute garbage from my nearly three hours of footage. Also, this is my first time editing a video seriously. Uh, I've done some fiddling about in OBS, but most of the time I've just up uploaded raw footage. Maybe some trimming here and there. This is the first time I've edited a video, so if it's a bit choppy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you also enjoy the terrible gameplay you're about to see. People call me the space cowboy. <laughs>
When I'm rolling to the, when I'm rolling to the, 